Hi, I'm Janine, a product manager at Olympus. Today, I'm here to show you our CX23 Upright Microscope, which is optimized for your educational needs. The CX23 is a great educational microscope. Because of its simple, straightforward operation, it is easy enough to be used in secondary schools, but it's also a practical economic tool for medical and veterinary schools. This microscope is shipped, ready to use, so all you need to do is unbox it, plug it in, turn it on, and start viewing your slides. The CX23 microscope offers bright field and dark field observation methods, along with excellent optical performance and long-lasting uniform LED illumination. It comes with the option of three or four specially designed plan acromat objectives that offer a flat image throughout the field of view. The CX23 microscope also offers a large field of view, enabling students to view more of their sample at one time. It can be easily equipped with a camera with wireless connectivity, such as our EP50 digital wireless LAN camera, so you can share what you are viewing quickly and easily with your classroom. Let me show you the microscope's key features. The CX23 microscope is durable and lightweight with a small footprint. It has ergonomic non-slip carrying grips so students can easily transport it from its storage location to their bench. This model also has built-in safety features to protect the eyepieces, observation tube, objectives, and stage from damage during transport or during prolonged or repeated use. If you want to teach your students color illumination adjustment, you have the option to adjust the condenser and diaphragm or it also offers fixed Kohler illumination, making sure that all CX23 microscopes in your lab are properly aligned for Kohler illumination at the start of each lesson. I hope you enjoyed meeting the CX23 Upright Microscope. Visit us at olympus-lifescience.com for more information or to set up an in-person or virtual demo. When you retrieve your CX-23 microscope from its storage place, make sure that you hold it by the blue ergonomic carrying grips. They help make transporting the microscope easier and more secure. Never carry it by the stage or observation tube, as this may damage the microscope. Gently place the CX-23 microscope on a clean bench space. Rotate the observation tube by loosening the clamping knob, turning the observation tube, and then tightening the clamp. To set up the CX23 microscope, remove the AC adapter and power cord from the back storage pocket, connect it to the microscope, and then plug it in. Turn on the LED illumination using the main power switch and adjust the LED brightness using the light adjustment knob. You should see the LED light turn on through the objectives or at the bottom of the microscope. Next, load a slide onto the stage. Ensure that the stage is low enough and that the objectives are out of the way to help prevent them from being damaged. Open the stage clip, place the slide into the clip, and gently close to secure the slide in place. To properly set up the CX23 microscope, use the X and Y axis knobs and move the stage so the sample is in the light path. Adjust the eyepiece's inner pupillary distance by gently holding the binocular eyepiece in both hands and tilting it up or down so they fit nicely to your eyes. Look through the eyepieces and adjust the light intensity to your liking. To focus, rotate the coarse adjustment knob until the sample starts to come into view. Use the fine focus knob to make the image crisp and clear. Check to see if the condenser is in its highest position. If not, Gently rotate the condenser knob until it is raised up as high as it will go. Lastly, adjust the aperture diaphragm so it matches the magnification of the objective being used. To properly adjust the eyepiece's diopters, rotate the diopter adjustment ring on both the right and left eyepieces to the index zero position. Place the 40X objective into position and adjust the focus using the coarse and fine focus knobs. Once in focus, switch to the 10x objective. Look through the right eyepiece only and adjust the diopter ring so it's in focus. Repeat this step with the left eyepiece. Your CX23 microscope is now properly set up and ready for slide viewing. 
If using a 100x oil objective, make sure that you add a small drop of oil to the slide prior to use. When finished with your CX-23 microscope, it is important to properly clean it before storing it away. To properly clean and store your CX-23 microscope, start by lowering the stage and remove the slide from the stage clip. Turn off the LED. Clean the objectives and eyepieces with lens paper. If oil was used on the 100X objective, revolve the nose piece to remove the objective from the sample. Then wrap lens paper around a finger and gently wipe with lens cleaner, drawing a spiral outward from the center. Unplug the microscope, wrap up the cords, and store them in the back pocket. Rotate the observation head. Lift the microscope using the blue ergonomic carrying grips and carry it to its storage place.
This video will show you how to set up and use your field diaphragm and auxiliary lens for Kohler illumination on your CX23 microscope. First, raise the stage to its highest possible position. This will give you more space. Install the auxiliary lens unit onto your CX23 microscope by placing it under the condenser and pushing it up until it clicks. Ensure that both centering knobs of the auxiliary lens unit match with the notch on the condenser. Next, insert the field diaphragm by aligning the notches found on the unit with the notches on the LED illumination window. Gently press down on the field diaphragm unit until it clicks. To center the field diaphragm, turn on the LED illumination, place a specimen on the stage, engage the 10x objective in the light path, and bring the specimen into focus. Rotate the field diaphragm to the right to narrow the diaphragm image. Rotate the condenser height adjustment knob to bring the field diaphragm image into focus. Bring the field diaphragm image to the center of the field of view by rotating the auxiliary lens centering knobs. Rotate the field diaphragm ring to the left to open it until you see your specimen in the whole field of view. Your CX23 microscope is now properly aligned and ready for viewing. To remove the field diaphragm, gently lift the unit up to remove it from the LED illumination window. To remove the auxiliary unit, gently push down while holding it. Do not press down too hard on the centering knobs as this may cause the auxiliary lens to shift position. If you have questions about how to install your field diaphragm attachment, please review the CX23FS instructions located on the Olympus website.